Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be trying something new and I'm hoping that when I'm done this is going to end up being a really cool play area for my rats. Uh, what I have here is an old shoe organizer that we're not using anymore and what I'm going to do is attempt to turn this into sort of an upright maze for my rats. So all of the floors and the wall pieces come out of that, so I'm going to be taking the shelves out of the frame and basically just drilling holes. Um, I have here kind of a mock-up drawing of what I want, want the maze to look like. The entrance is there on the bottom right and the exit is on the top left. The arrows are where the holes are going to be and the X's are dead ends. So I'm going to be trying to replicate that over here. And to help me, what I've done is I've put marks in all of the seams where the floors and the walls meet so that I know how much space I have to, um, to work with and where to put the hole. And I've also numbered each wall and floor so that I know when I, when I take all this apart, I know which one's which. The camera's having a hard time there. Okay, so I'm going to get started on this and we'll see how it goes. So I was originally planning to put a wire mesh over the front of this so it can be closed off in an actual maze that they would have to find their way through. However, after seeing how this works with my rats in practice, I've decided not to do that. Um, there are several, several reasons for that. One of which is the boys are very big <laughs> and they can get through those holes but they have a hard time sometimes especially with the ones going up and down. Um, the second reason and the thing I would do differently if I were to do this thing over again is those up and down holes are right on top of each other. Um, and that makes it a lot more difficult for them to go up more than one level. Um, the girls do manage this. I don't know if that's because they're just because they're smaller or because they're more persistent in general. Um, the boys, I have not seen them do it, although I suspect that they could if they really wanted to. Um, but they obviously don't want to. Uh, so because of that, I'm just going to leave it open like this, and they seem to like it this way just fine. A lot of times I'll put treats in the little cubbies, and they have a fun time trying to figure out how to get into each one to get the treats out. Um, overall, I would say this was a, a win as far as making something that the rats enjoy. I would say that the girls enjoy it more, probably just because they're they're smaller and able to get around better in it, and because they're more active and agile in general.
Thanks for staying to the end of the video. If you like what you saw and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Check out one of our other videos, and if you like what we do, you can encourage us to make more videos by subscribing on Patreon or making a one-time donation over PayPal. Links are in the description. Thanks for all your continued support.